I know it's been a long time, but let me just start by saying Happy New Year's, guys. Yeah, it's been quite a while. I know I was so busy for the month of December. Like I was, oh my God, you guys, like I was so exhausted. Um, but now it's January and the chaos is over because holiday season is over. So I wanted to do a best of beauty 2018. So like my favorite products that I love all throughout 2018. Something that Jaclyn Hill like does and I love watching her. So I was like, oh, well, why not? make a video like that and tell my subscribers the products that I've been loving. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to start with the non-beauty products because why not? Like, whatever. Let me just start by talking about these um, multivitamins. These vitamins are by the Garden of Life. They're organic, non-GMO, obby. Anyways, I got these at Whole Foods. I'm sure they sell them at a lot of health stores. They are soy, dairy, and gluten-free. Um, and look who created them, guys. I don't know if this is going to focus, but hopefully it does. Right there. Remember the movie Clueless? Well, she created them. I really, really like the Sleepy Body Lotion. I love this scent so much. Like, when I put this on, I know that I'm ready to go to bed. So, for hair care, guys, I have been loving, like, I love this shampoo. Like, this shampoo is everything. When I got my keratin treatment done to my hair, I needed a shampoo that was sodium chloride free and sulfate free. I never thought about looking at the ingredients of the shampoos that I have here at home um, before buying another shampoo. The first shampoo that I will be talking about is this one, guys. Okay, guys, so this shampoo is everything and more. Like, I love this shampoo. I've said shampoo so many times. <laughs> okay, so this is the Orbe. Oribe. I'm sure it's like Orbe. I don't know actually, so I should not. Don't quote me on that. But this is the Gold Lust shampoo and conditioner. This is the medium size. I started off with the travel size to see if I would like it. I loved it. If you want to splurge, these shampoos are the way to go. Like, oh my god, guys, these are everything and more. But guys, if you don't want to like splurge and you don't think because honestly, it's not necessary to get shampoos that are like that much just for like luxury. Whatever. What I'm going to show you guys right now, these are like my ride or die. I love these because they're just at the right price and they are sulfates and sodium chloride free. So even people with keratin treatments can use these shampoos. Uh, but I love this brand so much and I have a lot of other hair products that I will be talking about that are also this brand and these are the Amika shampoos um, they are the norm core line like the signature just for like smoothing out the hair but I just love the norm core line I just love it because it makes my hair so smooth and I also love their cleansing conditioner that is the only conditioner that I take up on my scalp and like kind of like put it on my scalp and lather it I do that with the Orbe conditioner too because it smells good, but nothing ever happens to my scalp if I put the conditioner on my scalp. Um, okay, but I love these. I love Amika so much, guys. The touchable hairspray. Usually when I curl my hair, I prefer using a flexible hold hairspray. I don't like something too like stiff and sticky, so the flexible hairspray is amazing from Amika. And I love it so much. And I also love their dry shampoo. This one smells so good. But, guys, also really, really love the Kenra dry shampoo. And I think this is definitely my favorite out of all of the ones that I will be talking about. Um, but the IGK is not bad. It's invisible. It's It truly is. I like to like test it on my hand to see if it really is invisible and it is um i don't want to show you guys because i don't want my hand to get tacky but yeah guys these are so good 
but this is my favorite. And now for hair treatment. I really, really love this Label M Diamond Dust Leave-In Cream. It just makes my hair so smooth. It makes it so easy to detangle my hair. They also have a Diamond Dust Shampoo and Conditioner. And I really, really like it, but I used it all. That is why I didn't include it in this video, but I really like them. Anyways, really like this. I really like the IGK Call Time Styling Primer. So this is like a heat protector by IGK, and I really, really like it. I just realized that this is not a heat protector, but I love this detangling spray so much. It smells so good, guys. So usually what I do is, if I want to have a very good hair day, I usually wash my hair with the Orbe Gold Lust Shampoo and Conditioner. Then I use this detangling spray. And after that, I use the Redken Diamond Oil. It's the one in the pink bottle. I've shown it before. Um, and then I blow dry my hair, and my hair is just the best. Like, I love it. It feels so soft and airy and, like, beautiful. And I love when my hair feels like that. My hair is dirty right now, so that's why I put it up in a bun. Okay, guys, let's move on to skincare. And let's just start with the cleanser because... Cleanser is just what we start our skincare with. I really like this Purity Made Simple Facial Cleanser. And it's funny because when I was like younger, I did not like this at all because it did not foam up and look, your skin really does change because now I don't like anything that foams up. It just strips all of the oils from my skin and it feels terrible. Okay guys, and I really, really love the Ula Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. Amazing. Okay guys, so I bought the travel size of the Glycolic Night Serum by Drunk Elephant and the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I love the Glycolic Night Serum. Oh my God, this has made such a difference in my skin, guys. As soon as I'm done, I will be buying the full size. That's why I included it in this video, even though I've been using it for a month because it has truly changed my skin in one month. I have been really enjoying the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Like, I bought this not too long ago, but that's what it looks like. It's amazing. I love this eye cream. It does not irritate my under eyes. It helps with the little white bumps underneath your eyes that is caused by dehydration. Oh my god, such amazing eye cream. And that is why I decided to give this a try because I was still looking for a moisturizer that didn't feel heavy but yet moisturizing. This is the Believe the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is the thicker version because I know they have a gel and the actual cream version. I bought the cream because my skin is really dry and I love this stuff so much you guys. I have not found a moisturizer that does so well to my skin like this moisturizer. This moisturizer is truly amazing. I'm definitely going to keep using it and maybe in the summer I will switch to the gel formula. And last but not least for skincare, which is not really a skincare product but is an, a, like an eye makeup remover, it's the Chanel makeup remover eye makeup remover and I love this a little bit more than the Dior one it's just really nice and gentle and it's just amazing like it really does not irritate my eyes really love this product so much guys let's start with the little ones okay so last year Mac released the I don't even know the name of this collection but the packaging looked like this they released one shadow it's called Stylishly Mary. It's an extra dimension eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow so much, guys. Mac, you need to come back with this eyeshadow. I know that before they had the Stylishly Mary that was also discontinued, I think, but it's not like this shadow. It's more of like a burgundy shadow. This one is not burgundy at all, guys. Like, you see how it looks pink, but if you kind of switch it back and forth, there's like green flecks of glitter that is amazing that is just beautiful it kind of gives kind of like this impression on the eyes you see how it's pink but then it has like green flecks this is exactly this curtain in an eyeshadow i love it so much and since i loved it so much i wanted to look for a dupe and you guys i don't know if nars still makes this eyeshadow 
but um this is the outer limits eyeshadow and this is not exactly the same but it is pretty similar finish you see Shantikai made a collection last year, a summer collection, and in that summer collection by Shantikai, they had an eyeshadow that was so similar to the MAC eyeshadow that I love. I was at Blue Mercury in La Jolla Beach, and in my head, I was just like, I just got that NARS shadow in LA. Like, I was, I bought it in the Sephora at downtown LA. In my head, I was just like, I'm running out of money, and I'm at Blue Mercury, and I'm looking at this Chantecaille eyeshadow that looks just like the Stylishly Mary by MAC. Should I buy it or not? So I just have these two shadows that I really love and I try not to use them as much only when I want to look extra flaky. The second one is the MAC one and the first one is the NARS one. So that's what it looks like. I really, really like the Moon Dust Shadows by Urban Decay. This one is in Space Cowboy. I like it because it's like literally all glimmer. You guys see this like glimmer? It's this one right here. Like and I really like it. I love this pigment by KKW Beauty and this is in rose gold. Really like this. If you guys have watched me since I started my channel, you guys will know about this eyeshadow duo. This is the NARS Alhambra eyeshadow duo. I know that they just reformulated the eyeshadows, but they still carry Alhambra in the new formula. And it's just as amazing, it's just as beautiful, and it's better in my opinion than the old eyeshadow formula. So good job NARS because amazing. Okay guys, so I really, really love this palette that I created by Inglot and it's from the Jennifer Lopez collection. I got this also when I was in California last summer and I got two eyeshadows and a bronzer and I love this so much. I love these eyeshadows because, let me show you, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see what I'm talking about, hopefully it focuses, but these are matte eyeshadows and they have flecks of gold glitter and that is what drives me insane. I love it when shadows are matte, but not too matte, and they have like flecks of glitter. Amazing, guys. I love these palettes so much. I reach out to them every day, and these are the Lorac palettes, and I love them so much. I think their eyeshadows are amazing, and that's why I included them in this video. And last palette, you guys. I love this palette because of the color selection. Um, I know a lot of people like a palette that has more mattes. To me, if it has like three mattes, that's totally fine by me. I really like shimmer shadows and the eyeshadow selection in this palette, it's just so natural. That's why it's called Natural Love. But this palette looks like crap, you guys, because I've been using it so much. So this is what the palette looks like. I love all of the shades in here. They are all so beautiful, all so wearable. This is the perfect bride palette. And guys, I just think that all the colors are wearable. There's not one single color that I would say no to. I love all of these colors, you guys. I love this eyeliner so much because it's so black and pigmented, but if I make a mistake, oh my god, guys, I kind of bite myself because I'm like, wow, I'm not going to be able to remove that. But anyways, I usually stamp on eyeshadow on my waterline to kind of map out where I want to put this liquid eyeliner. And this one is by Inglot. It is in the shade number 25 and it is amazing. It's so beautiful. It's so black and matte, which I really like. I've been putting white eyeliner on my waterline and I really like that effect because it makes my eyes look much brighter and bigger. I know I already have big eyes, but whatever. I like to accentuate them, if you know what I mean. This is the Tom Ford White Smoke Eyeliner, and I love this eyeliner. It's stark white. It is so beautiful. It's so pigmented. It's so rich and creamy, but yet it does not move. So this is my favorite 
white eyeliner that I have ever discovered. I was given a sample at Sephora of the Milk Kush Mascara and this is what I'm wearing today on my bottom lash line. I use this to mesh my top lashes to my falsies and I love it so much. I think this is a very cool concept because of the whole like cannabis like you know thing but whatever. I really like the Kush Mascara and when I'm done I will most likely buy another one. My top top number one favorite mascara of all time all 2017 all 2018 is the Chanel Le Volume Mascara. I love this mascara so much. Nothing can compare to this mascara and I'm just gonna leave it at that because this mascara is everything. For eyebrows, I literally only used one product and that is the Benefit Gimme Brow and this is in the shade number three. I love this stuff so much. Now that I talked about eyeshadow, I want to talk about eye brushes because eye brushes are very important. I feel like makeup brushes make you or break you. The qualities that I look for are the softness material that is being used to make that brush. Kylie Jenner makes some amazing real hair bristle brushes. I have a lot of her brushes. When I'm doing my eyes, I reach for these brushes a lot by Kylie Jenner. This is the number 15. It's just a big, fat blending brush with a dome top. It's not pointed, which I really like it to disperse product on my crease and above the crease area. And I really like this one for packing on eyeshadow. I don't know if this one is real hair. I think it's synthetic because obviously it's to pack on eyeshadow on your lid. So I like synthetic for that. This one though, it's the number 14 and I really, really like it. Besides Kylie Jenner brushes, I have been really loving the Morphe brushes from the Jaclyn Hill collection. I bought her master brush collection that comes with all the brushes and guys I have been really loving these three right here this one is a big pointed blending brush and I really like this one to really concentrate color on my crease area and I love this small one this is the JH40 and I really like this to concentrate color on my outer V I love the JH43 to stamp eyeshadow on the top part of my eye to map out where I will be putting eyeliner. I don't think I mentioned the number of this brush, the first one that I talked about. This is the JH32, guys. I know I talked about the Kylie Jenner number 15 brush. I love this brush for applying my transition color on my crease and above the crease. I found out that Jaclyn Hill made an exact same concept of brush for a much affordable price. This is the JH30. It looks so similar to the Kylie Jenner. So as you can see, that's what they look like. This is the Artiste Oval 3 brush and I love this brush to bake my lower lash line. I don't bake anything else but my lower lash line because I feel like that's where I crease the most. It's amazing. I love it to pack on powder and it does such a good job. Jaclyn Hill JH03 to blend out the contour on my face and to apply highlighter on my cheeks, I usually like to use Kylie Jenner number no. 7 brush. This is a dual fiber brush and I really like it for that. Uh, but to apply highlighter on my nose, Morphe E17 and it looks like this. It's just a very tiny brush. I also really like using the Morphe JH09 to really concentrate the highlighter like right on the highest point of my cheekbone. And I love the... JH06 brush to apply blush. I love this so much, guys. It just does the job so beautiful. I think it's because of the long bristles and the way that it's angled. I really like using this for my under eyes. This is the JH07 and I love that. It's so skinny and so pointy and that's why I love it so much. The Too Faced highlighting brush. I would never use this to highlight, by the way, but I really like it for contouring. Jaclyn Hill makes a very similar brush. This one is the JH09. I was using this one before I bought this one and they do the job just as good, both of them, but it's just the price difference that's a bit different. Let's move on to foundation. So if you wanna splurge, I think that you should definitely give the La Mer 
a try. This foundation is so beautiful. It just gives you the most natural matte finish. It just makes the canvas so naturally blurred. Oh my god guys, so La Mer, they also extended the shade range of this foundation and right now in the winter I am using Buff 23A. In the summer I am Honey 43. For concealer you guys, I like something that feels creamy that is going to give me coverage and this gives me enough coverage and it's so beautiful and it sits so nicely on my skin this is the Kylie Jenner concealer in the shade pine nut this is the perfect shade for me I love this concealer so much and it's what I'm wearing today the only thing I'm wearing underneath my eyes to conceal my eye area I stopped powder contouring because my skin gets really dry so I really like using creams now because it just looks very beautiful and it really does mimic where the natural shadow on your face is. I really like the Soleil Tan de Chanel. I love the color and I love the formula. I wish they made different colors. They literally only have one shade but this is the most perfect formula. It's moussey and it's creamy and it blends so nice. It gives me the most beautiful contour ever. It really does mimic where my natural shadow is. But if I want to be extra and I want to amp it up and I want to look very chiseled, I go for a deeper shade. And I am using the KKW Dark Contouring Stick on my cheekbones today because I want it to look extra chiseled. But I am using this one on my nose because if I use this one, it's going to be too dark. Guys, did I talk about highlighters? Cut. Let me include the highlighters because I feel like I did not talk about highlighters. The Supreme Frost by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Beautiful glimmer on the skin and it just looks so pretty and the glitter is so fine. It does not enhance texture at all whatsoever. Okay guys, so before the Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighter, I used to wear this highlighter. This is not really considered a highlighter, but it is a luminous powder that you can use on your face and on your body. And the concept of this is so cool because it's just very finely milled glitter that looks so beautiful on the skin and it just gives the most beautiful glisten to your cheeks. I love it so much because it does not enhance texture and I really like using the Oh Darling highlighter and I still have it in the original collection packaging. It's broken. Whoop -de -doo. Okay guys, let's move on to blush. This is the Kylie Jenner Winter Kiss Blush. She described this blush to be a blue undertone pink blush and that is the reason why I bought it. This is what I'm wearing today. I have been wearing this non-stop ever since I got it mailed to me. These lip products are amazing. I love them so much. Let me start with lip liners because that's usually what we start doing our lips with, you know? Kylie Jenner lip liners. I have been really loving caramel. I don't know. I like to say caramel. I don't know. Whatever. Iced Latte. And the third one is Coconut. I love all of these three lip liners so much. Also love the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. And the one that I really, really like is the 600 Anywhere Caffeine. My all-time favorite glosses are by Chanel and Dior. These are my top, top favorite glosses ever. I love the Lip Maximizer by Dior. I know that they just released more colors and I really, really like the Chanel ones because they're thick and creamy but not sticky. The Dior one is a little bit lightweight but it's so shiny and juicy looking. I just could not decide whether to use the Chanel one or the Dior if it came down to me only using one for the rest of my life. I would have to say both because they're both so good. I love using these YSL lipsticks. This one is in the shade 1 and this one is in the shade 7. That is what they look like. And I love baby pinks so much. So the bottom one is number 7 and the top one is number 5. The other one that I really enjoy and it's so inexpensive, it's the... Maybelline Baddest Beige Lipstick. Oh my god, it's not focusing. What is going on? That is Baddest Beige. Today I used Coconut Lip Liner and number 7 Lipstick by YSL. And it looks like this. If you don't want to spend so much money for like Chanel or Dior glosses, just get the KKW glosses because they are just so pretty. They're so amazing. They're 
nice creamy glosses that are not sticky for such a good price. Just a little bit on the center. Last but not least, perfumes. So for the winter time, I usually like to go for vanilla, a perfume that has vanilla in it. And I really, really love the Giorgio Armani C. It just has so many notes and it all blends it so well with my body. Like I just love this perfume so, so much. Like sexy and daring and usually I wear this perfume when I'm gonna go on a date with my boyfriend. This is a hypnotic poison. I love this so much you guys this also has vanilla in it they both have vanilla but they both smell so different okay guys and for the summer I usually like going for something floral sweet and fruity I usually like wearing the J'adore by Dior and it just smells very floral and clean and pretty not too clean because I hate it when perfumes smell like pine salt like it's just like ew what the heck? No. But the second perfume that I really like wearing is the Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. This is more on the sweet side and this is floral. Okay guys, so that concludes with all of my 2018 beauty favorites. I hope that you guys like this. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video as much as I love filming it for you guys. This has been such a great filming day. I just had so much fun making this video. Guys, before I leave, I will be doing a giveaway. And let me show you what I am going to be giving away. This is a new year giveaway. And I am just so thankful for everything that I have in my life. And I don't know. I just want to give thanks to you guys too for even watching my videos because I'm so like weird sometimes but anyways so you guys know that I talked a lot about the Jaclyn Hill eye brushes because they're honestly amazing one of you will get the Jaclyn Hill eye master collection and I think it's essential to have good brushes also the sultry eyeshadow palette amazing this is so beautiful you guys i want to open it but then i don't because i don't want to like ruin it whatever i'll just show you guys what it looks like i think one of you guys will really really enjoy this eyeshadow palette it looks like that sorry that i'm blinding you but it looks like that it has all of those pretty colors and they're just so beautiful you guys they're everyday colors and i think one of you guys will really like this palette since I've been really enjoying the Supreme Frost Highlighter by Jeffree Star, I decided to get one for my giveaway. This one is in the shade Wet Dream and it is so pretty, you guys. It's so beautiful. I was going to buy this for myself, but then I was like, no, I'm just gonna give it to one of my subscribers because I don't need any more. I already have Snow Globe. And you guys, I think Hula is such a universal bronzer that I decided to throw it in in my giveaway because I feel like this works for so many skin tones. It's not too cool, but not too warm. It's just perfect and so universal. So that is what I'm going to be giving away. And I will list all the rules down below and also stay posted on my Instagram so you guys are updated with everything and who the winner is. I wish you guys the best luck for this year. I know that sometimes it's like an emotional roller coaster and you just don't know when it ever is going to stop but just remember that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel so don't worry you just have to hang on i just wanted to mention this last thing because it's such a beautiful book i can't wait to show you guys my mood board for this year okay guys so my boyfriend gave me this book and it is the most beautiful book ever i've been wanting this book for two years now i forgot about it so whatever but when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, how did you know? Like, it just made me relive the very special moments of us meeting because when we first started dating, he would always surprise me and I love surprises. But anyways, he surprised me with this book and it is the most beautiful version ever. This is the five love languages and I love it so much. I have been wanting to read this for so long and it's so good guys. Like I love this so much. Like you guys need to read this. It's so like amazing. I just love it. I love the aesthetic and I love this book so much guys because it's so pretty and it's just you know when it's like it gets boring in a book well you'll never get bored of reading this and it's just so good guys i really recommend this book anyways besides that guys i hope that you guys enjoyed my video and 
please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye Nothing feels